so there is a module in python called statistics <coughs> which has some of the most mostly used statistical functions so let us take a look at those statistical functions so let's import this module by writing import statistics as we'll import it with an ally as um, called stat so just to make it uh, simple so that we don't have to write a lot of uh, words each time okay so we're importing statistics as stat and let us first take a look at the mean function so mean is basically the average for example if we have a list of numbers okay so let's say we have a list of numbers 1 2 3 and 4 okay so what is the mean so mean is equal to the sum of all these elements divided by total number of elements so what is the sum of all the elements it is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and what is the total number of elements it is 1 2 3 4 right so the mean will be equal to 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 divided by 4 which is approximately 2.5 so this is the mean or the average so to find out this we have a function here inside the statistical module called stat.mean and we can pass our list of numbers so we'll get 2.5 so most of the time the mean is not a good measure of central tendency because if we have outliers in our data they will affect the average so let's say for example if I write the mean of of some numbers which includes 1 2 3 4 and suddenly if we get a number something like 50 which, which is extremely uh, unusual right you, you see a pattern like 1 2 3 4 and you expect 5 and suddenly you get an outlier which is equal to 50 so if you take out the average in this case or the mean in the uh, mean uh, in this case you get it as 12 which obviously uh, 50 has contributed a lot to this number right so this is not a proper measure because 50 can be an outlier which means it is unusual to have 50 in this kind of list so we have a measure called median which ignores such outliers so the median basically sorts the data in ascending order and finds just and and just returns the number which is in the middle so let me show you an example if we have a, a data something like Okay, if we have a data something like 1 2 3 4 um, and 50 so in this case the you know what mean does right but what median does is it finds the number which is exactly in the middle so we have two elements over here and two elements from this side and we have three exactly in the middle so it basically the median basically returns this three okay so let's say stat dot median and we'll pass the same list one two three four and fifty so we'll get three so even if the numbers are not sorted right it will sort and then find so let's say for example we we have data like this in unsorted manner right 2345 it will sort and then it will give the number which comes in the middle but what if there are two numbers in the middle so what I'm trying to say is instead of having this if we have 1 2 3 4 5 and 50 okay 
so what if we have numbers like this so you have two from the right side two from the left side and in the middle we have two numbers instead of having one numbers so in this case the median basically returns the average of these two middle numbers which is equal to 3 plus 4 divided by 2 which is equal to 3.5 so this is the median in our case so let's try to verify that so we'll write stat dot median so this is the case where we have uh, two numbers exactly in the middle okay so one two three four five and uh, 50 so it basically returns the median or the average of three and four okay so if you don't want the average of the middle two so we can use something like uh, we can use uh, median low and median high so what i'm trying to say is i don't want to average this i want either three or either four so you can make use of median high median low and median high the median low will return three and the median high will return four okay so we'll write stat dot median low so in this case let's pass the same list so it will basically return three and if we want a higher number if there are two numbers so we can make use of median low median high okay so next we have mode right so mean median mode so these three are the basically uh, most widely used you know measures of central tendency we have mode which returns the most commonly appearing uh, number okay in a list so if we have data something like so if you want to find the mode of a data like one two one three three four 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 five so what is the number which occurs most frequently in this data is it is four because it appears three times so the mode will return four but what if um, all the elements appear equally so we'll check what happens if we have all the elements appear equally which means there is no element which appears maximum number of times so we have one two three four so what do you think will happen uh, if we execute this we actually get an error that no unique mode i mean found four equally common values okay you'll, you'll get an exception so next we have something called uh, harmonic mean so we'll try to understand what uh, how to calculate this harmonic mean first and then use the function the built-in function in statistics module so let's understand what harmonic mean is <clears throat> so let's say we have um, uh, numbers like uh, you know uh, for example if we have a b c and so on right so if you want to find the um, uh, harmonic mean the generalized formula is like something like n divided by 1 divided by a plus 1 divided by b plus 1 divided by c and so on where n is basically the total number of uh, numbers the total number of data right, right? the total number of um, you know um, uh, total numbers you have okay so for an example where uh, let's have some simple example where we want to find the harmonic mean of the numbers 1 2 and 3 so the harmonic mean in this case is n divided by right so what is the n n is the total number of elements we have it is equal to 3 and um, 3 divided by 1 divided by 1 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 3 which is equal to 3 divided by 1 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.34 so which is equal to 3 divided by 1.84 
which is approximately equal to 1.63 so this is the harmonic mean of the numbers 1 2 and 3 so let's try to verify that um, stat dot harmonic mean of data 1 comma 2 comma 3 so it gives 1.63 as expected so next um, let us take a look at the standard deviation function so as per Wikipedia the standard deviation is a measure that is used to quantify the amount of variation or dispersion of a set of data values so it basically tells how much variation or dispersion is there in our data so what I'm saying trying to say is if we have a uh, example one two three four five so this is one set of numbers so there you don't see too much of variation in the data okay it's equally placed right one two three four if you find the difference between the consecutive numbers it is always equal to one right so it, it increments by one and without you know having a lot of dispersion or variation so let's take a look at the data which has a lot of dispersion so one to 500 and then suddenly you have uh, 6 600 and then suddenly you have minus 2 so something like this so it has a lot of variation or dispersion so standard deviation is a is a is a is a metric which which gives how much uh, variation or dispersion is there in our data okay so the formula for finding the standard deviation goes something like this s equal to square root of so s equal to square root of 1 divided by n minus 1 into summation of i equal to 1 till n x to the power of x i minus x bar the whole square uh, don't get confused we'll solve a simple example to understand this much better so n is basically the total number of um, elements you have in your data okay so let's say for example if you are trying to find the standard deviation of numbers 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay so if you want to find the standard deviation of this for example so what is so x bar is basically the average so you know what is the average average is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 divided by 3 which is equal to 2 right so x bar in our case is equal to and the standard deviation is nothing but square root of 1 divided by what is n n is 3 3 minus 1 is 2 so 1 divided by 2 into um, we have summation of xi minus x bar the whole square xi is this for first example it is 1 right so 1 minus x bar so what is 1 minus um, x bar 1 minus 2 it is minus 1 okay so minus 1 the whole square plus and uh, what is next element it is 2 2 minus 2 the whole square is 0 0 square plus 3 minus 2 is 1 so it is 1 square okay so if we evaluate this further it is 1 divided by 2 into what is 1 plus 0 plus 1 it is equal to 2 so it is equal to 2 divided by 2 it is which is uh, square root of 2 by 2 which is equal to square root of 1 so the standard deviation for this number is equal to 1 okay so let's try to find out by using a function here so stat dot standard deviation of 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay so that's about standard deviation so we want to find out for another set of numbers where standard deviation is more right so to verify that let's give some number 1 comma 2 comma 3 and um, 1 comma 2 comma 5 and then 500 okay 
and then add in suddenly 100. So if we try to find out the standard deviation of this set of data, it obviously should be greater than 1, right? So you get this 215. So which means that there is a lot of, uh, you know, uh, dispersion or variation in the data set. So there is also something called variance. Um, which is nothing but the square of standard deviation okay so it's basically just like standard deviation but it's just the you know square of standard deviation so if you want to find out the variance of of uh, the same number 1 comma 2 comma 3 what do you think the answer would be it should be equal to 1 right because 1 square is again 1 and if we try to find the variance of this number it should be equal to some big number. So what is this number? Basically, it is nothing but 215.69 into 215.69, which is basically 215.69, the whole square, right? So basically, this is the number that we're getting here. 